Well, Air Gunners, there's nothing better in a reviewer's life than to hear a new product has been released. And generally that means that we, the reviewer, have something to look forward to in the upcoming weeks and months to test out for you, the viewer. However, this was a special week. Why? Well, yesterday, Friday, was the release of the Brocock Atomic XR pistol. And like many of you, I hit my keyboard and went running and looking to see all the information that I could find about this beautiful pistol that was released by Brocock in conjunction with Air Guns of Arizona. Also, like many of you, I found a lot of information that made my mouth water, and I couldn't wait to get my hands in one of these and touch base and see exactly what it was going to be capable of doing. So the end of the workday came, and I drove home, and I was very pleasantly surprised to find one of those lovely large brown boxes at my doorstep, and inside it was a Brocock Atomic XR in 22 caliber. Guys, on the day of the release, I got the gun, and I'm bringing it to you next. So what was I to do? Well, I took this beautiful new, and I do mean brand new, Brocock Atomic XR pistol, and I went ahead and did what any red-blooded American air gunner would do. I set it up and ran it through some preliminary testing and got the Atomic XR ready for fun. Now, before I hit the range, though, I wanted to test it out, clean the barrel. I always do those things. Make sure the scope is leveled, mounted appropriately for my eyesight, and, of course, added my favorite silencer. So... Before we get too deep into this though, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the specific features that this air gun or air pistol has. First and foremost, this pistol comes in 22 caliber and from what I understand will be released shortly in 0.177 caliber. Power wise, at least in 22 caliber, we're looking at four foot pounds to 20 foot pounds of energy. The pistol has an overall length of 14.5 inches comes with a HUMA regulated air cylinder for precise and consistent shots, a two-stage adjustable trigger, dovetail scope rail, Picatinny accessory rail right underneath here for your favorite bipod. You'll notice I have the AccuTech bipod mounted on mine. Great stable piece. That's what I use on all of my precision air guns, as well as a one half by 20 threaded barrel, as you can tell by the zero dB I have on the front of it. The smooth side lever cocking action, Lothar Walther barrel, and a power adjuster on the side of the breech. But those aren't even the best features. There are three more features that I take, or I think, that take this offering to the next level. The first of these features is the newly designed magazine. And you'll recognize this one is similar to the one that Daystate came out with not so long ago and Brocock then followed suit again, just not so long ago. And it allows for an easy loading of your pellets. In 22 caliber, you're gonna get 11 shots. And this new style magazine is included with the Atomic XR, as well as a single shot tray. The second feature that is absolutely lovely for this gun is on the back side. We have a hammer spring adjuster on the back of the pistol. Now this feature was precision made or is precision made by air superiority products and comes with the pistol. So it's not something you're gonna have to order separately. It includes an easy read window down here with markings and numbers built in so you can go directly to your setting that you want if you have different settings for different purposes. And it's also gonna be repeatable because it has nice Dentins in there, you can feel it click. Can you hear that? Yeah, clicks right in there. And it's also stable enough that it's not gonna move around on you and be adjusted with a bump. So very, very nice. Now, the third feature that is absolutely my favorite is the feature, I have a little piece hidden down here, is the idea that it comes and can be adjusted as a carbine. It does come with an AR style tube and stock. So you're not gonna have to buy this separately, it comes with it. So keep that in mind, not only for the price of this pistol are you getting a pistol, but you're also getting a rifle too with a nice carbine stock. Guys, there's something about a carbine that I just absolutely love and really this ticks all those boxes for me. And I think this might be, 
as long as it shoots well, and I believe it probably will, become one of my next favorite backpacking guns. So let's talk about some other things. First and foremost, this is a two-stage trigger. The trigger provides no discernible creep. It is adjustable. Uh, in my testing, it was breaking between six ounces and five ounces consistently. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, the first stage and second stage are adjustable to your liking. The pistol as sent, all right, was shooting around 18 foot pounds of energy uh, in 22 caliber. I was using 18.13 grain pellets from the Daystate Sovereign line. Had a standard deviation of 8.6 feet per second and ran an average of 60, 669 feet per second. Now remember, again, these settings can all be adjusted and easily tuned with the power adjuster. So your results, well, they are surely going to be a little bit different between each and every pistol. And also don't forget, like all Brocox, the regulator, well, it's adjustable too. Now, what I found really interesting in my testing is that when I installed the shoulder stock to make it into a carbine, the power changed. And hopefully this has you scratching your head just a bit as it did me. Then the light bulb went off. The stock has a different hammer spring adjuster on it. This means that this little bit right here can be tuned and adjusted as well to provide a different power level that is easily repeatable when you want to switch it to a rifle. So you have different purposes. Let's take a second and explore why this is a valuable feature. Let's pretend for a second you're just out in the yard and you're protecting your bird feeder from those pesky European sparrows or maybe riding in the barn, or maybe just plinking. 20 foot pounds might be a little overkill for some of those situations. So if I wanted to use the pistol, I could go ahead and take the stock off of it, put the pistol on, shoot around 12 foot pounds of energy. Or if I'm going to go out and I need a little bit more, maybe I'm gonna go do some hunting, doing some squirrel shooting or something, I need a little bit more energy, and of course a little more stability, I can then go ahead and put this carbine stock on here, and have the power pre-adjusted to shoot around 20 foot-pounds of energy. So it gives me a lot of options. Now, in 177, this is gonna be the same. I don't know what the power settings are going to be for this, but in my mind, it has me thinking that, all right, well, I could use the carbine as a field target gun if I'm just starting out, and then switch to the pistol and go down to 12 foot-pounds of energy because I have it preset, and now I have a very multi-purpose tool that can you know, cover both ends of the spectrum and not necessarily have to spend a ton of money both on a pistol and then a ton of money again on a rifle. So potentially there's a lot of value right here, guys. So you know, all in all, I'm really thrilled with how this is looking. And like many of you, I want to see what it's going to do at the range. So sorry to do this to you guys. That's exactly what I plan to do. So I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna hit the range. And when I return next time, you'll get to see its accuracy, just how fun the atomic pistol is, or should I say carving really is. So until next time, guys, may your trigger pull stay smooth, your pellet fly straight, and we'll see you next time on the Airgun Advisor.